Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling for tall girls. So for those of you guys who saw my vlog last week, I went to Los Cabos for my birthday. You know, when you're going on a trip, you want to do research on things to look out for, especially as a woman, just safety tips. I across a video where someone was mentioning that a couple had passed away from carbon monoxide in their room, which freaked me out. So, <laughs> which led me to this video. Some of the items in this video are going to be just things that I feel are needed as far as fashion on a <laughs> trip. And the other things are safety items, if that makes sense, and just necessities overall. In this video, I'm gonna share a few things that I deem to be must-haves for a vacation at a resort. So the first thing I wanna say is, as a melanated woman, People assume that we do not need sunscreen, but sometimes I say to myself, we wasn't wearing sunscreen back in the day, right? <laughs> but I started to use this sunscreen, Unseen Sunscreen Body by Super Goop. And if you guys can see that, probably not. Super Goop, it is not cheap, but I like this a lot because it didn't have a smell. It went on smooth. And I also still like Banana Boat. I still like Banana Boat. Um, it has like a funny smell to it, but I still appreciate that it does give me like a shine. This is not much of a shine, but this is a must have. You need sunscreen on vacation if you are going to be in a sunny, hot area. I don't care if you hate wearing it. But you need it for your face, <laughs> you need it for your body, and some girls do wear it on their lips. I didn't do that because I literally was like, I was in the sun, but your girl got in the shade real quick. So sunscreen is the first thing that is a must have for me anytime I'm traveling and this is what I have been using and I absolutely love it. And again, I still do like the um, banana boat one, which is very, very affordable. Another thing I like to carry with me are hats big hats so whether that is a sun visor hat for certain times where i want to have my hair up or even a big brim hat so let me just show you i'm going to show you the two hats that i got one i got from cos and the other one i got from nordstrom's this guys i got this from nordstrom's <laughs> so just a simple visor hat I realize that the visors are really long over here these days. They never were like that. These are everywhere. Nordstrom's Rack has a ton of them, but having a cute little simple visor, one thing I did like about it is that it had like this little Velcro piece in the middle for your forehead, so your head is not really pressing up against it. I liked it. I went for the, it's kind of like a darker straw color um, because I had like a whole vision in it. I hope I have a photo. If I do, I'll pop it in with me wearing it, but a sun visor is the second thing and a part of that second part of hats would be a big brim hat now this hat i got this from cos when i went to get the hat from cos they didn't have it in store she said that they never had it in store but i could have sworn i saw the hat in store now i go today and i actually see the hats <laughs> um but the hat was i want to say a hundred i think it was a hundred dollars i don't know i think it was a hundred i feel like it was more than that i don't know why but a really really nice straw hat S sleek you can wear it with pretty much anything so a straw hat is a must-have that you should have on vacation this is for the girls who's going somewhere where it's hot they're going to be on the beach they're going to be at the pool definitely get you some straw hats they're very lightweight and you can get them anywhere and they are affordable i just paid a little bit too much for the ones that i have but you can definitely find them anywhere and the other thing is going to be a straw bag all right so with the hat from cos i got the straw bag can you guys see that the bag is so nice this bag was <laughs> 190 okay it is leather at the top so if you don't want a bag that's leather don't get it but it is leather at the top 
the same color as the hat same color as the hat and it's just a nice little little set okay so a hat straw bag straw visor and you're good and also you can get the hat clips if you don't want to package your bag um, with your hat I have seen girls put the hat in the suitcase this way um, if it's big enough and then they kind of build around it under and then they stuff the center with like underclothes and then under there's clothes here so the hat will keep its shape or you can get the hat clipped and just clip the hat on your bag that way the hat's not being damaged when you get on the plane just stick it at the top and then you're done initially when I took the trip I did have the hat in my lap biggest mistake ever because I was so uncomfortable with it on my leg um, I wanted to just like lay down and stuff so when I came back I just kind of sat it on top of my suitcase inside the cabin so make sure you are thinking about all of these things when you're buying a hat because they are big you don't want to bend it up you do want it to come back home in good condition so just kind of be mindful of that if you're buying a big straw hat all right the next thing you want to have are really good slides and sandals if you don't want to wear heels which is for me i'll be honest on vacation i want to just be really comfortable really just relax wearing heels is not going to be something i'm going to be gearing towards i'm just not going to do it flats are it now these slides now these i got these from zara i wore these every single day with the exception of one day i wore my other slides but let me show y'all <laughs> they're so cute they're very simple they got a little gold toe situation going on very very chill and to my surprise there's like some cushion on the inside these are very very comfortable slides little cute sandals are a must-have for your vacation the other thing you want to have are some sarongs now when it comes to sarongs i would say get a mixture of small and large and the reason why i said it is because when you get the large ones you can wear them as a skirt and you can also wear them as a dress you can tie them like a toga you can do so many things if you go for a smaller one you likely won't be able to wear it in many ways but around your waist so sarongs are a must-have guys especially for the girls who really don't like to show certain parts of their body like they want to wear a bathing suit or a bikini but if you wear a sarong you can kind of throw it over you and tie it and still feel very much so comfortable or you can still look stylish without really showing like majority of your body if that makes sense so sarongs are the other thing that's a must-have and along with your sarongs of course you need bathing suits and bikinis and all that good stuff whatever you guys wear swimwear is an essential and it's a must-have especially if you're going somewhere hot if you're not going somewhere hot and the place has a pool you still may want to have one or two bathing suits depending on how many days you go but if you're going on vacation and you're staying at a hotel there's likely a pool or some sort of jacuzzi there so you want to have something like a swimsuit so you're able to enjoy the entire hotel stay on your vacation. All right, and the last part of your clothes and things are shades. Now, I am going to say this. <sighs> if you're going somewhere extremely hot, you may not want to wear a full metal frame. You may not want to because your face is probably going to feel a little irritated from the metal being on your face and it being hot. If you want to if you want to get something more on the plastic side or whatever other material, go for that as opposed to something that's metal. That's just my opinion. I feel like when you wear something that's metal and the sun is hitting you, it is hot to touch and you may not like it. So, shades are the last part of the video when it comes to clothes and attire and accessories for vacation videos i'm gonna get into things that i deem to be must-haves for safety on vacation whether you are a woman or a child teenager traveling um i'm not even gonna say a child a teenager traveling um with like a group of friends or even a flight attendant which i know that i have seen some carry some of these things so let's get into the first thing and the first thing i'm going to say is a carbon monoxide little device that you can carry and you can just stick it in your room make sure it works before you leave I got this one from Amazon it's really small I think it's appropriate to bring it to a hotel and you just 
turn it on and it tracks the carbon monoxide in the air. If there's anything, you will be notified with this. This I purchased later on from Amazon because I used to always carry other things as far as for safety, but then this was a new addition and I absolutely love it. It's small and you can actually keep this in your house because there's screws in there to plug it into the wall. So having a carbon monoxide little device is also a must have when it comes to your safety when you're on vacation. The other thing would be something to stop your door from opening up. We have seen a ton of things online where people's hotel rooms, people are trying to break into their rooms. And this, someone gave this to me and I absolutely love it. It's just a door stopper, but it's loud as heck if someone opens that door. When I was in Cabo, the door lock wasn't like I was used to. So I wasn't, at first I was a little nervous, but I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna be ready if somebody comes in this room. Um, but I put this behind the door. The slightest touch in this will open fire. I mean, like, make a ton of noise. Like, so having a door stopper that's an alarm is another must have for your safety. Um, the other thing that's a part of this would be, you guys have seen the viral little lock for your door. Okay, it's a door lock. It comes in a case and it's this. You guys have seen this online. Probably seen a lot of flight attendants use it, but it's a safety piece. And what you do is, it's two sides, this side, and this side, you will stick in the door, and then this is the lock part. So once you have it stuck in, you kind of put it here, and then that little lock here, it closes in the door. This is a lifesaver. Once you put it in, you cannot open the door. Like, you have to unlock it to pull it out. So this is something that I, I, I deemed that women should definitely carry, men should carry, Whoever's traveling, you got to stay at a hotel, Airbnb, any of that stuff. You want to have your own lock for the door. And I don't mean like a physical lock. I mean something that can stop the door from opening up. If you don't feel safe with this, child, move the sofa behind the door. <laughs> I'm serious. Like if you don't feel comfortable, move the sofa behind the door. Okay, girls? The other thing is... When I went to Portugal, I was like, I need to make sure that I have everything that I need to use my chargers. And I need to be able to have something that is going to help me charge my phone while I'm out. So first thing you wanna always have is a universal charger. This is from Amazon and it has all these different, it has one socket. However, this piece on the side controls what it looks like on the inside. So if you pull it down, it may give you like a US um, US port on the inside. If you pull the other one down, it may give you UK um, or Europe or whatever. So it's good. It's a universal one. It's kind of big, but I like it. It does also have USB cords attachments as well. Um, but it's simple. It's cool. It's affordable. I got it from Amazon. All right, I'm gonna link everything below for you guys, but since I am saying that, if you guys like the video so far, make sure you are liking the video and make sure you are subscribing to the channel so I can do more videos, guys. Right, if you don't like the video, YouTube is not going to push the video out. So like the video and share it if you can, especially the safety part. So as a part of that is going to be my portable charger. This is a lifesaver. You charge it up before you go. If your phone starts to die, you just plug it into the plug area and then you have a portable charger, okay? Very simple, very affordable, absolutely love it. So these two things are a must have when you're on vacation. And let me get into the last couple of things. All right, so the other part of this is going to be things that I will carry as far as content creating. A trusty tripod the reason why i like this particular tripod is because it is very compact 
and it goes up to about six feet tall. So when you open it up, like it stretches, it stretches, it stretches, it stretches. And then this part here, this part here opens up, you can stand it up. If you need to get your content girls, it comes with a remote. Definitely have a tripod with you. Nothing too bulky, something that can slide in to your suitcase and be done. Very small. With this, of course you're gonna have your phone, but if you don't wanna use your phone, you can always use a trusty, dusty camera. And one that I would rec recommend traveling with will be your Canon G7X because it's, it's small. It doesn't take up too much space. And I think it gets really great photos for what you paid for with this. It's very compact. Take a camera with you guys and you are golden when you're on your trip. All right, so the last thing is going to be what you need on the plane. Now I'm gonna try to put everything down and show you guys. This is a neck pillow. Why I like this, I bought this at the last minute because I left my regular neck pillow. So of course the airport's gonna charge your arm and the legs. So I bought this one. Hear me out, this thing was $25. No, it was 50 bucks, 50 bucks. This opens up to this. This is so freaking comfortable. This high part here helps with the neck. They have a thing for your chin right here. <laughs> like you can actually hook it to the back of your chair if you wanted to, to just like sit it there so you don't have to like sit it on your neck. Have a neck pillow. It is an essential. And like I said, what I liked about this one is that it comes with a case and it looks like it's not gonna fit in there. But when you squeeze, 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 I'm putting it back in so I can show you guys. It sits right back inside. Yeah. I thought it wasn't gonna fit at first, but it fits right back inside. Okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very, very simple video on must-haves that you need for vacation. These are the things that I took on vacation and I needed it, I used it. It's like second nature to me to always grab these things and just have them ready to go. Especially the carbon monoxide, the lock, my sunscreen, like the clothes and stuff can probably change, but when it comes to hats, that's a must have for me. I need a straw hat on vacation. I need my camera. <laughs> so a lot of the stuff on the list, I know that a lot of you ladies and gentlemen will actually need when you're going on vacation. So write the stuff down in the video, save the video, share the video, pack for your vacation, make it simple and easy. And also on another note, do I have a sample of it? I don't. So in a lot of countries, which I didn't even know this, but then I read Delta's website and it's clear as day, but I've never gotten stopped. They do not want you to carry a ton of Ziploc bags. Did not know that. So I would recommend getting those packing cubes so you can have your things in your suitcase so you can take up less space. One, so you don't have to check a bag. Two, your stuff will be with you, okay? So try to pack things that are not in the Ziploc bags because they will have you throw it out and then when you get through checking okay there's a store there for you to buy it again we're not doing that <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you need any more tips on things that you should buy for vacation or must have for vacation you guys know i just came back from cabo like i said and i had a freaking blast i will do a separate video on the spa resort that i stayed at like very, very detailed. That spa resort was a 10 out of 10. Very, very nice guys. I want to go back. LeBlanc Spa Resort. The food, the surf, it was amazing guys. So I'll get another video of, about that soon. But if you like this video, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY in my personal style blog, CocoStylesNY.com, CocoStylesNYC.com, and my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, CocoStylesNYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.